Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Sunday the 19th of May. Okay, I've got two card tarot reading here for you. Okay, let's see who comes out. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we've got the Queen of Cups and we've got the Two of Wands. Now that's really funny. I used a different pack yesterday. I used the Rider Waite and the Three of Wands came out. And I referred to the Two of Wands saying, you know, this, this was somebody that was um, had moved a step further. So why have we moved a step back? That seems really weird, doesn't it? You know, the, the three signifies somebody that's left their home or residence and moved out into the world of adventure. But have a look at this two of wands. I feel like, I'm not mentioning the Queen of Cups, so I will go back to her, I haven't forgotten her, but I just feel it's really relevant because this ties in with yesterday's message. So if you didn't see yesterday's, please do go back and have a look. Um, I think what's interesting here is it's that reminder. Now, when twos come into our lives, we have that duality, that should I, shouldn't I, yes, no, decisions, decisions. You know, it's that we're torn between our ego and our human self and our soul and our soul's journey. And we're always in that kind of duality of not, go, not knowing which way to go. So I do feel like there's going to be an element here of needing to remind yourself how far you've come. And also, look at this lovely dragon that accompanies this person. He's got the world touched there in his tail, okay? So presumably, that is for this person that he's looking looking at and sort of saying, well, we ready? What, what are we doing? Come on. So yesterday we had this pause. Yesterday we had this stillness and this quiet. I kind of feel like this is tying into that message but with a very gentle reminder that at some stage we will actually have to start to do something, okay? So if you're a procrastinator or if you are in two minds about something or if you are just worried about the fact that you don't know how this next stage of your life is going to turn out, I feel like, you know, this is saying, well, yeah, okay, we get this. We know there's periods of our time when we in our lives when we do just have to stop and think and be sensible, but let's not be overcautious. Let's not take too long thinking about it because, of course, our opportunities may go. You know, I'm looking at this dragon, looking up at this man, waiting for the man to make the decision, and I'm hoping that the dragon doesn't just get fed up and go, oh, do you know what, I'm off, and flies off and leaves that guy because then he'll be precariously balanced on that kind of ledge and have no way of moving over that river to the next place, which seems to be over here. So I feel like this is a, a message about seeing opportunities and not missing them, not letting things go by. If that is something you've done in the past that you've regretted, remember that feeling of regret and Try and make sure that that doesn't happen again. Now, I mentioned feelings, feeling of regret, and that's moved me lovely, beautifully on. What a link to the Queen of Cups. If there's anybody that knows about feelings, it is the Queen of Cups. Now, she's got that full moon there in the sky. We are moving to a full moon period. So, you know, you can start tapping into that energy. And I know some of you will feel overly emotional and get quite tearful or restless or can't sleep when there's a full moon. It does, into if we're really intuitive and in tune with the universe, this is a time when we do feel things very, very different, deeply, okay? It's also a really great time to start letting go of things that no longer serve you. So again, I feel like the Queen is coming in here with an element of maturity. We were talking about maturity yesterday. And I feel like this is a constant reminder not to go back to how we used to behave, how we used to be, okay? So there's an element of your character that you've strived really hard over the last few years to, to get rid of. Maybe you have become less anxious. You've become more confident. Maybe you've 
you know, done a quite a lot of inner work and you're no longer sort of troubled by traumas that have set you back in the past, be that for your childhood or relationships. I feel like there's that element of, come on, we've got this. We know we've, we've conquered a lot of our emotions. We are in touch with our feelings. Don't let them overwhelm us because when we're overwhelmed with our feelings, we do stop our path. And, you know, it really does feel like we are being guided towards something new here. OK, so I feel like the Queen of Cups is coming in here to be aware of when your feelings are making your decisions for you. Yeah, I think the older we get, the more we can take that step back and not make decisions based on anger, fear, anxiety, guilt and all those things that, you know, we feel. And we can make more informed decisions based on our, based on, well, again, just based on our maturity and based on our experiences of, well, that didn't really work out for me last time, so I'm not going to do that again. Okay. So, yeah, I like the fact the Queen of Cups is coming in here. She's reminding us that we all are completely entitled to feel, but not to let it run away with us because. We've got plans and things we want to do with our lives and we're not going to let our feelings and emotions hold us back anymore. Well, that seemed like a really exciting, interesting week. Um, I'm back again tomorrow. Obviously, I'm here every day with a reading for you. If you would like a personal reading, I do do those via Zoom. So no matter where you are in the world, I can um, I can meet up with you by Zoom and, and give you a personal reading. So if you're interested in that, please go to my website, which is clairechilvers.com. There's a link in the description and there's um, a section book a reading. You can go on there and uh, it will tell you what to do. In the meantime, have a wonderful day and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.